Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday. Yesterday we were supposed to go get our Christmas tree but the weather was disgusting. That was our plan. Yesterday was my birthday so our plan was to go get a Christmas tree and have a little Christmas day but unfortunately it was raining all day. It was gross out so we didn't do that so now it's Sunday morning at well Sunday afternoon actually and we're about to go get a tree. We're gonna cut one down. Bobby requires a real tree. Personally I would just get a fake tree. I do like going to cut down trees though. I think that that's a lot of fun. So we have met each other in the middle and I, we will always get a real tree as long as we have the experience of cutting it down. I don't know how long that will last. I, I wonder if we'll end up not always cutting it down and just going to like pick one out. I don't know. But anyway, we're at Home Depot now. Bobby's coming out. I see him. He just picked up a handsaw. You could borrow one at the place, but he figured we might as well just buy one. Looks like I'm ready to commit a murder. Great. <laughs> you can say it looks like he's ready to commit a murder, and it does. We got rope because we didn't have rope, and we have to tie it to oh, the. Oh God damn it! Top I forgot my the, gloves. Top of the thing. Well, we could run home. Huh? We could go home. Yeah, I, I really will need to. That's like an important part. Okay. So, we're just gonna run home real quick, get his gloves, and then probably get a food to eat on our way into oh, yeah. okay. getting a tree. Or should I just run in and grab a pair of gloves? Rather than going all the way home. Do you know where they are at home? Yeah, probably in, uh, in the shed, but I can go right here. It'll take five minutes. And... What do you think? This is probably the way now. Say hi. Hello, no, it's not. Christmas America. <laughs> uh, it's up to you. I'll just go. I'll just go right here. Okay. It'd be more annoying unlocking the house. Okay, so he's going to get gloves here. And then we're probably gonna get a food because we didn't eat yet. And then we're gonna go get our tree. So I'll keep you posted on where we end up. <laughs> Salt bay. Three things for two people. Okay. Well, there's two and a half people here, that's why. Look at all that cream cheese. Want to my sandwich? Now that is what I'm talking about. Of cream cheese. Oh, yeah. For Christmas decorated in town among all the tinsel and lights, I'm strolling. Sadly, none of the audio from any of my footage recorded. I don't know why, but as soon as we got to the Christmas tree farm, I, it stopped working and I had no idea. But I'm thankful I still have all of the footage uh, to keep as a memory, so that's that makes me happy. But I wanted to let you guys know, so we went to Carter's Christmas tree farm. It's in Miller Place, if you're familiar with Long Island. We've been here before, one other year, like a few years ago. Um, I have to say, it's so hard picking out a tree. This one was pretty. I liked this one a lot, but it was way too big. Uh, sadly, we don't have a big area for a tree, so we kind of had to get somewhat of a smaller one. We could have a taller one, like we have the height, we just don't have the space for it to be too fat, so. I never seen this before. There was a lot of like little trees that weren't really trees uh, for like, look, $5, $9, and I guess people use them as toppers or maybe to fill in. I'm not really sure. But it is so hard to make a decision on a tree. There's so many different kinds and we were just going through and we had no idea what to pick. And to be totally honest, this walk, it looks like super easy, but I guess because I'm pregnant, oh my gosh, my feet were swollen and there, the floor was, the floor, <laughs> the grass was like so uneven and there was holes from, well, there wasn't that many holes, but there was a lot of like stumps in the ground from people cutting trees down. There were some like holes that your foot could fall into. So I had to like watch the ground the whole time. And by the time that but by the time that we were done, I was exhausted and I'm not even the one who had to cut down the tree or carry it, <laughs> which I also didn't think about. The last time that we cut down a tree, we had Bobby's brother with us. So it was the both of them doing it together. So I felt kind of bad that I couldn't help Bobby, but he didn't complain and he said it wasn't that bad. So.
So I know everybody probably has their tree up by now, um, but this Christmas tree stand I have to tell you about, it's called the Tree Genie, and Bobby said it was amazing. So it's a little bit of an investment because it's quite expensive. They have three different sizes, and we got the extra, extra large, which doesn't mean for the size tree it means for how much water it holds so I think it holds like two and a half gallons of water or something like that um, and it was about a hundred dollars on Amazon it's called a tree genie and Bobby said it was the easiest tree stand ever he always has complained about tree stands like just like normal ones that you would get at Target or wherever and he wanted to like invest in one this year so that we just have it for years to come and he's really happy that we did so i highly recommend if you're in the market for one take a look after the holidays and maybe it will be on sale i'll also link it down below in the description box we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love get yeah, all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. I'm making plans What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close For our tree All of our ornaments are like sentimental ornaments we have a ton from when we were both kids, like our first Christmas tree ornaments from when we were babies. And then we have ones that were given to us from, you know, friends and family and stuff that we've gotten each other through the years, all things like that. So we do have some regular like filler balls on there of like red and green, but for the most part, it's all like sentimental ornaments. I kind of went through them all, I think last year and got rid of most of the ones that don't have much meaning. There's a few that I kept that were just like cute, but besides that, most of all of them have some type of meaning to them. Let me know what you guys do with your tree. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing holiday. Let me know in the comments what you're doing for the holiday and how you decorated your house. I'd love to know. And I will see you all next time. Bye.